All right, so get this. You guys sent in this list of hot products predicted to totally own 2024. And honestly, I'm geeking out a little bit here. Well, it's more than just cool gadgets. Right. Really seeing this fascinating kind of like overlap of technology, personal well-being, even how we're impacting the planet. Exactly. So whether you live and breathe tech, you're all about conscious consumerism, or you're just curious about what's next, this is your deep dive. We're going way past the what's hot to the why it matters to you. And trust me, there are a few surprises on this list that even I didn't see coming. Oh, I bet. Okay, let's jump right in with a theme that's basically taking over our lives at this point. I'm talking seamless connectivity. Smartphones, laptops, earbuds. I mean, these aren't just devices anymore. They're like extensions of us. They really are. And they're getting seriously sophisticated. Mm. Take smartphones, for instance. We're seeing AI do some incredible things with photography these days. Like, you can capture professional quality images just by tapping a button. No way. It's wild. And it goes way beyond just how things look, though. With 5G becoming more widespread, we're talking about real-time language translation, crazy fast downloads, even those immersive augmented reality experiences, all on a device that fits in your pocket. It's mind-blowing. Imagine strolling through Tokyo and your phone just instantly translates all the signs and menus for you. Oh, absolutely. Or imagine going to a virtual concert with friends from all over the world, but you feel like you're right there in the crowd. And hey, while we're on the topic of immersive experiences, can we talk about wireless yap buds for a sec? These little things are completely changing how we experience audio. I mean, you're on a packed train, but your earbuds can make you feel like you're at a private concert. It's like having a personalized soundtrack for your life. Yeah. That's the magic of active noise cancellation, right? Mm. It just silences all the chaos around you. And then there are voice assistants. It's like having a personal assistant ready to play your favorite podcast or answer any question, all without ever taking your phone out. It's true. They're lifesavers. But let's be real. All this connectivity can be a bit much sometimes, right? Definitely. And that's where another huge trend comes in. Well-being. We're seeing this massive push towards products and services that help us deal with stress, improve our health, and find some kind of balance, you know, in our crazy hyper-connected world. Yeah, it's crucial. And fitness trackers are a great example of this. It's come such a long way from just counting your steps. Now they can monitor your sleep, mm. track your stress levels throughout the day. Wow. Even offer personalized advice based on your own biometrics. It's like having a tiny health coach on your wrist. It's not even just about the data itself. It's about feeling empowered. Like yeah. armed with this information, you can start making better decisions about your health. Maybe you adjust your sleep schedule or find new ways to deal with stress. Maybe you just become more aware of how active you are. Right. But hold on, fitness trackers are just the beginning when it comes to this whole proactive well-being thing. Let's talk about the rise of health supplements. Everything from your basic vitamins and minerals to, are you ready for this, adaptogens. Okay, now these aren't your average vitamins. Adaptogens are natural substances that can actually help your body handle stress better and resist its harmful effects. It's like giving your adrenal glands a little extra support. <laughs> you know, those are basically your body's built-in stress managers. So it's all about giving your body what it needs to really thrive. I like that. But I know what you're thinking. With so many options, how do I even choose? It's easy to get totally lost in the sea of supplements and wellness trends. And that's where being informed comes in. Do your research, talk to your doctor, and find what works for you, what works for your body and your goals. So important. And honestly, it feels pretty good to be proactive about your health, you know? It does. It's all about taking charge of your well-being, recognizing that good health is an ongoing journey. And speaking of journeys, mm -hmm. even the products we choose, the companies we support, it's reflecting this growing awareness we have about creating a more sustainable future, don't you think? Yeah, and it's so much more than just like remembering your reusable bags at the grocery store. It's about really getting what a product's whole life cycle is like, the materials, the packaging, how it's shipped, yeah. the whole nine yards. It really is. And companies are stepping up, wouldn't you say? Oh, absolutely. Eco-friendly products aren't some niche thing anymore. Absolutely. It's becoming the standard. And it's not even just about us shrinking our environmental footprint, though that is a biggie. Huge. It's about putting our money where our mouth is, you know, by supporting brands that get it. Ethical sourcing, treating their workers fairly, being open about their whole process. Right. It's like you're casting a vote for the kind of world you want to live in with every purchase. I love that. And speaking of making a statement, can we talk about electric vehicles for a minute? 
I mean, remember when EVs were like, this novelty item, only early adopters even thought about driving them. Oh, totally. And no. It's crazy how quickly things change. Yeah. EVs are everywhere. Yeah. And I get it. They're sleek. They've got incredible range now. Bye-bye range anxiety. Uh, Plus, there are charging stations popping up left and right. Right. Like, every time I turn around, there's a new EV on the market with even more cool features. And, okay, let's be real. That silent, eco-friendly ride is pretty darn cool. It is. But it's not just our cars getting a makeover, right? How we dress is changing, too. This whole athleisure trend, I'm totally here for it. Comfort and practicality are key, for sure. But it's not about sacrificing style anymore. It's kind of amazing. There's this cool blend happening. Stuff you can wear to the gym. Well, you can pretty much wear it anywhere. Right, exactly. And a lot of these brands are using sustainable fabrics and making their stuff ethically, which is awesome. So you can look good and feel good about your choices. It's a win-win. Absolutely. Okay, but we can't forget about our furry friends, all right? The pet industry is blowing up right now. <laughs> so many cool and honestly adorable products. Well, and it makes sense, right? Pets are like family, and we see that reflected in all these new products. High-tech gadgets that can track how much Fido's running around, organic, yeah. human-grade food, you name it. Oh, and don't even get me started on the pet tech. Smart feeders that dish out the perfect portions, those interactive toys that keep them busy. Yeah. Even GPS trackers for the escape artists. It's wild. I know. But you know what else has become a total staple in a lot of homes? Subscription services. I swear, everything comes in a box these days. All about convenience, though, right? Yeah. That personalization. I mean, you've got meal kits delivered to your door, beauty boxes with products picked just for your skin type, wow. even personalized playlists. Oh, totally. Subscription services just make everything easier and, let's be honest, a little more fun. I know a bunch of people who are obsessed with their meal kit subscriptions. They say it's totally changed how they cook. That's awesome. And let's be real. Who doesn't love getting a surprise box of goodies every month? It's like a little gift to yourself. And speaking of treating yourself, yeah. the beauty and skincare world is changing big time, too. Self-care is so important. And you can really see that in what the industry is doing. It's not just about hiding flaws anymore. It's about enhancing your natural beauty, embracing who you are, and really nourishing your skin. It's way more holistic now, isn't it? Like, yeah. It's about feeling confident and comfortable in your own skin, not trying to fit into some like impossible mold. Exactly. And the coolest part is the beauty industry is finally starting to really get diversity and inclusivity. Yeah. Like, you see so many more shades of makeup now, products for different hair types. Brands are challenging all those old beauty standards and celebrating everyone. It's awesome. Okay, so we've covered looking good, feeling good, but what about, you know, one of the best things in life? Food. And luckily for us, all these new kitchen appliances are here to make cooking more fun. Totally. Cooking at home is making a huge comeback. It is. And appliances are getting so smart and so user-friendly. Air fryers are a game changer. All that crispy goodness but without all the extra fat. You've got your multi-cookers that whip up gourmet meals in no time, smart ovens that practically read your mind. Right, it's like having a personal chef living in your kitchen. And you know what else is like having a personal assistant? These personal finance apps that are everywhere now for good reason. Totally, it's like managing your money has never been easier, you know? Right. It's like having a financial advisor in your pocket. You can track your spending, make a budget that actually works, even start investing without needing like a finance degree. It's amazing, especially with how crazy the economy is these days. It's like these apps give you some sense of control again, don't you think? Like it helps people feel like they can actually make smart decisions about their money no matter how much they make. Absolutely. It's like we're making financial knowledge like common knowledge again. Yeah. yeah. It's accessible to everyone. Yes. Love that. Okay. But we can't wrap up this deep dive without talking about some next level tech. I'm talking drones, VR headsets, those digital learning tools. The future is now, right? Seriously. <laughs> it's like we're living in a sci-fi movie. Remember when drones were just for, like, cool aerial shots and maybe delivering the occasional package? Yeah. Now they're doing everything. Environmental monitoring, helping out with disaster relief, even bringing Internet to remote places. It's amazing when you really think about all the ways it's being used. It really is. And VR headsets. Forget about just playing games. We're talking about fully immersive educational experiences here. You can be mm -hmm. transported to ancient Rome. You can do surgery. You can go to space. Right. All without leaving your living room. And then there's the therapy applications for people with phobias, 
PTSD. It's amazing how they're using it. It's mind blowing how tech is like blending the real world and the digital world. We're learning and experiencing things in ways we never could imagine before. And then you've got digital learning tools, all the online courses, language apps, even educational games. It's incredible. It's amazing how accessible learning has become. You can literally learn anything you can think of from anywhere on your own time. It's amazing. It's definitely an exciting time to be a lifelong learner. So as we're wrapping up here, it's clear that 2024 is going to be a defining year for these products that don't just make our lives easier, but actually reflect what we care about. You know, totally. We've covered so much ground today. All the must have gadgets, plus the deeper trends that are shaping everything, how we stay connected, how we prioritize our well-being, how important sustainability is and how much we want products that actually fit our lives and what we believe in. It's been quite the deep dive. It has. And as you're out there encountering all these products in the wild, think about the impact they're having. How are they shaping your day to day life, how you connect with other people, even how you see the world? It's about being choosy. Right. Embracing the things that really add value to our lives, but also not being afraid to be critical of the things that might just make things more complicated or take away from, you know, actually living our lives. hundred percent. Because technology should be a tool that works for us, not the other way around. Yeah. It's all about using it to build the kind of future we actually want. Yes. I love that. Well, there you have it. Your crash course in everything that's going to be huge in 2024 and beyond. We hope you're feeling as inspired as we are. Absolutely. Keep being curious. Keep asking those important questions. And most importantly, never stop imagining what's possible. The future is waiting for us. Couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks for joining us for this incredible deep dive. Until next time.